So we're standing right now in the Bush Room, and it's called the Bush Room because in 1987, when George Herbert Walker Bush, who was then vice president at the time, visited Huntsville, he came here on a tour of Marshall Space Flight Center and came over here to see what we were doing at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center and at Space Camp, which at that time was only five years old in 1987 because Space Camp opened in 1982. So he came over, and Dr. Barnhart, uh, Dr. Deborah Barnhart, who was our CEO at the time, gave him the tour of the facility and remembers him as just being a really warm and, and interested person who was very uh, fascinated by everything he was seeing and very impressed with uh, the work that we were doing with children to sort of show them the careers that they could have in space exploration uh, down, down the road in their future. So one of the things that he did while he was here was he uh, took a little spin in our one of our man maneuvering unit simulators and that would, it was the vehicle, we, our simulator was uh, a, a sort of a, a way to simulate the idea of an untethered spacewalk and that was kind of thing the kind of the training that an astronaut would have done for that same sort of spacewalk and then uh, it was something we used very uh, actively in the program at the time we still have MMUs here as part of space camp program but we don't use them as often as we used to because uh, it's off, it's uh, something that the program no longer uses it was part of the space shuttle program at the time and it was used a few times uh, for specific missions during the space uh, during spacewalks so uh, um, so we have this wonderful picture of uh, the vice president at the time in this, and he, he signed it actually. It says, to the Rocket Center, come fly with me, keep up the great work. And so uh, it was a special visit. We have a lot of VIP visitors here, and we're always honored to have them. But of course, someone on the caliber, uh, the level of Vice President Bush, who of course then went on just two years later to become president. It was such an honor, and it's such an honor that we still talk about this space that he used uh, at the time. This is where his Secret Service detail set up and where the president, vice president, was uh, con sort of contained until he went out and to, for his tour uh, to keep him safe uh, was in this very room. So we still call it the Bush Room to this day, and we honor his uh, legacy and his great service to our country, his lifelong service to our country, and we, of course, mourn with the rest of the country at his passing.